Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is about the new electron EEC branch which has come is called Electronics and Communication Engineering with specialization in VLSI design, right? So this is quite good option and a new option for students. So I'm going to discuss about this course, about its job, scope and other things. So before that, we should understand what are the different job opportunities in EC itself, the main branch, right? So EC has opportunities in VLSI, which I'm going to discuss later. Robotics, EC students can be placed in control systems, in signal processing, in embedded system, in telecommunication industry also EC students can get easy jobs. Apart from this, this EC students have very good scope in defense and aerospace, in electric circuit design, in analog and digital electronics, in the power and consumer electronics, in the newer areas like nanotechnology and also in manufacturing EC has good scope. In wireless and the optical communication also areas also EC has good scope. So that's why EC is called the evergreen branch and it has good scope in all the industries including even the banks have the requirement for EC students. Now, out of those so many 10 to 12 areas, right, there are four areas which are going growing very high under ECE, right, for electronics and communication. These are the four areas which is growing very fast. First is the embedded system and the VLSI, which is one of the most growing. Second is machine learning, as we all know, is also part of CSC specializations. Data structures, we also know, is part of CSC specialization and AI, artificial intelligence and IoT. So those four are the most growing areas, right? So you understand VLSI is on the rise. And if you want to specialize in VLSI, then... then you should understand how VLSI has grown itself, right? So VLSI is related with very large scale, you know, integrated chip. So it is related with the chip. And if you see 1958, when the first integrated chip or IC chip was was invented, right? And after that, VLSI's technology started in, introduced, getting introduced in 1970. And if you see in 2003, Intel Pentium 4 chip processors were there, which are starting point of a great VLSI journey, right? So this is the background. So if you are, if you want to become a VLSI design, you know, specialist, right, under ECE, these are the areas which we are going to study, right? So if you see the first area is called device physics, right? So you can understand that you have to be good in physics to be better in this profile right and electronics is completely physics based also right and so there are different parts like uh, uh, digital electronics and cmos everything you part you study as part of foundation for vlsi right so you should have a good physics secondly vlsi design branch also requires application of mathematical models and circuit analysis so you can understand you should good be in circuits as well as good in mathematics so if you are good and you are interested in physics and maths combination ec is the good branch and vlsi is also based on the same fundamentals right so of maths and physics so after becoming a VLSI design and technology branch or studying in this branch, what you will get a profile is like a design engineer. You'll also get a profile like a verification engineer, computer aided design engineer, application engineer, a fabrication engineer, and also you can become an R&D engineer, right? research and development engineer. And all of these profiles are in very good demand in all IT industry and the, as well as all the non-IT industry. So let's also see what are the type of salaries you can expect, right? So if you see the first profile is design engineer. So if you're designing VLSI, then the average salary uh, as of now, as per the glass door is 7 lakhs per annum. So that is the starting salary of a VLSI design engineer, which is decent. So same, uh, once you have designed the VLSI, you can test design. So, so test engineer will also do, a, you know, test planning, test result and fixing defects, right? So those type of test engineers of our VLSI also get good package of 6.5 lakhs. And similar profile is verification is also one important part of the testing and is a different type of analytical skill is required. And there also average salary is 7.5 lakh, which you can expect at the start of the career, right? And apart from it, you know, government is focusing very heavily on uh, semiconductor development in India, right? So you can see that uh, according to Ministry of Science and Technology, government of India also, 
the chips to startup program has started and they want there is a requirement for 85000 engineers right in india for semiconductor and the related things because of this 85000 engineers demand this new branch has come into picture and every college is now having this branch so you can definitely go for it so that's all i have to cover and thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates